The recording you heard was a call for aid by Rakoci station, which was a radio station located just outside Budapest, one of the last stations holding out against the Soviet invasion forces. Although the 1956 Hungarian revolution was quelled by the Soviet invasion forces, the damage has already been done. Protests were starting up all around the globe, and the cause of the Soviet Union was forever stained, prompting the abandonment of the Soviet communist ideals by a lot of intellectuals all around the globe and outside the Soviet Union. The revolution itself was surprisingly modern, set up in the capital of Hungary, Budapest, it was started by the students of the Budapest University of Technology and Economics, and soon it turned out into an all-out revolt against the Soviet puppet regime of Hungary then later against the Red Army forces stationed in Hungary. There were many ideals present back then that resonate well with uh, our times today, such as the fight for freedom, the fight for democracy, and against oppression of totalitarian regimes. Hey, it's uh, Charlie, and after this academic introduction, I want to guide your uh, attention back to the main topic of today's video, namely watches worn in Hungary at the time of the 1956 revolution. And to increase the stakes a bit more, there's a high probability that these watches were born by the people who were living in Budapest at that time. First one it's going to be the watch of the famous freedom fighter, chosen the man of the year by Time magazine. And if I should build a profile of this person, it would be someone, probably a student or young professional living in an urban environment. And his or her watch? It would be this watch, unusually large size, uh, 38 millimeter for the time, signed Onk. 15 rubies on its battle dial, which has a bit of water damage on the edges. Clearly a well-loved watch. This one was frequently used as the chrome-plated case is all banged up pretty badly. It is to be expected on a watch uh, this old. However, th things really don't add up. Onk, 15 rubies, big size, a huge circular groove in its dial. What on earth is going on? Well, my friend, the watch you're looking at is a destroyed, destroyed Doxa Jumbo, which is a smuggled watch confiscated by the Hungarian authorities. Back then, smuggling was a serious crime for which you could be branded as a Western spy and even be executed for. There are countless cases with uh, show trials where people were condemned for these trumped up fences. However, the demand for Doxa watches was colossal, ever since Doxa issued pocket watches for the Austro-Hungarian railways. The brand name Doxa was, and probably still is for some people, equivalent with the word luxury. Doing a bit of digging in forums and other places, I found out that these doxas confiscated by the authorities ended up in state-run watch factories, had their doxa brand name removed in a process which I might say can be called similar to the guiloche engraving, and then sold in official state-run stores for ordinary people to buy. But seriously, confiscated watches rebranded and sold by the state so this, this is crazy. The price of uh, these watches were around two-thirds the price of an original Doxa, but still it was around the 
average monthly wage of a person. Clearly, the demographics striving for these watches were those outside of the state party who had, let's say, less means to buy the original one. We can date this watch uh, from the unremoved serial number to 1953, well before the revolution. But wait, we still haven't opened up the case. <laughs> Which is, in my opinion, quite unbelievable that they even removed the Doxa branding from the bridges of the movement and even from the case back. Movement is a Doxa caliber 103 which is an AS uh, shield uh, bomb-proof movement. Now let's check out the watches issued for the secret police, which was called State Protection Authority, AVH, or commonly known as AVO. AVO was an organization built on the principles of Soviet security services, such as the NKVD, or as it was later called, the KGB, with even the supplies used having Soviet origins, uniforms, weapons, vehicles, except the wristwatches. With wristwatches being Swiss made Pierce watches. Now, <laughs> the origins of this police watch is an interesting one. According to some sources from the police, at the end of the 40s or the beginning of the 50s, Three crates of Pierce watches destined for the Soviet Union were confiscated by the border police as they lacked paperwork accompanying the goods. So the security forces had a better idea for these watches. They added them to their uniform. Seems that some people are more equal than others. For them, the visible Swiss branding wasn't a problem. Pierce was a well-known Swiss brand that went bust during the 60s, mainly because it was in direct competition with ETA, and instead of submitting, went its own separate way and made their highly unusual movements and case designs that ultimately led to their downfall. These design cues were evident on this watch as well, striking the elegant chrome-plated case design, Bombay lugs, thermally blued hands, and we even have an elegant sub-second hand layout of the champagne dial. The sub-second hand was pretty standard for the 40s and 50s. Looking at the back of the watch, we have an engraving saying Rendőrség el nem adható, meaning police, not to be sold. Clearly you have a bad guy here because I just bought this watch from someone. There are a lot of examples on the market with thin case backs, as the police markings were polished away. However, as we open the case back, we see why Pierce was such a unique watch brand, with the case holding the in-house movement Pierce Caliber 103. From here you can derive that these watches ended up in the service of the police by chance, as they feature no shock protection. They are more or less dress watches that are ill-suited for the activities of the communist uh, secret police. Anyway, hope you enjoyed these watches from this uh, interesting era, interesting conflict. Like, comment and subscribe for more. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.